Hello everybody, it is me Zoe. I am so happy to be back. Today is a really exciting video for me and hopefully for you guys too. But before I start, please make sure you like and comment your scent of the day down below and subscribe. I'm on the way to 100 subscribers and I'll be having a 100 subscriber uh, giveaway pretty soon. The time I'm filming this, I have 94. So yeah, let's go ahead and get started. So, um, I will put timestamps down below between my wrap-up and the new stuff. So, we're starting the wrap-up now. They're probably half and half, depending on what happens. So, the first thing I, um, like, have progress to show on is the Dove um, Body Polish in Pomegranate Seeds and Shea Butter. Uh, if you saw my empties video, you know I use this up. I really, really enjoyed this. I used it up pretty quick. Um, it's totally cleaned out. And I really, really did enjoy it. Um, I would purchase it again if I found it on sale again with the $2 off coupon. Um, but yeah, it's not my favorite, but it is a really nice one. And it goes really well with any um, fruity kind of things that are more soft, maybe like um, gourmand fruity because it does have a shea butter, which makes it like a sweet fruity. So yeah, I'm super excited that I use this up and I love, love, love Dove Body Polishes. The next thing will go into um, my bar soaps. I used up my Olay. Um, Shea Butter Bar Soap. I really enjoyed this. I don't know about you guys, but whenever I use bar soaps and there's like that one little tiny thin slice left, I usually throw those away because they always just like crunch and crush up in like my washcloth and then like there's just a bunch of chunks of bar soap going down the drain. So if it's like too small where it's going to just crush when I try to rub it, I just throw it away. But that's usually like um, very barely any because I can't get that without and then when I try to rub together it won't dissolve because it's all in little tiny pieces. Anyways I did use this up. This is really nice. It's perfect for anything with shea butter so like the Dove body polish or um, Olay body conditioners and stuff like that. Really really enjoyed this and I would repurchase again <laughs> after I use up the other ones I have. The next bar soap I used up was the Dove Cool Moisture Cucumber and Green Tea Bar Soap. I really, really enjoyed this one. Um, it's a super fresh scent. It's very moisturizing, but also very cleaning. You do feel that, like, in the middle, squeaky clean. You know, there's, like, the squeaky clean for, like, Dial. Then you have this, and then, like, um, other soap, like, just a normal body wash. This is, like, the middle range squeaky clean, but still moisturizing. I really, really enjoyed it, and I love, love, love this scent as well. Then I used up my Sleep Aromatherapy Black Chamomile um, Pillow and Body Mist. Um, I had to empty it because the top broke, so I put it into two bottles. Um, so yeah, I put the Aromatherapy Sleep Mist into this in the Starbucks bottle. I did use it up. This is one of my most favorite scents, like, overall, not just the Aromatherapy. Um, it's really, really nice. And I totally would repurchase again after I used up my other bottle of it. But um, I would actually, like, love if they made this into like um an actual body mist like like a stronger body mist uh, i really really enjoyed it it was super calming and it was a very sweet chamomile like slightly vanilla -y scent the next thing i used was my bath and body Ricks whipped vanilla chiffon mini i really really enjoyed using this i would repurchase the full set again if i had the chance um i know it is at the outlet where i usually go shopping for bath and body Ricks because i just love the prices there um but yeah I would repurchase this again. It's a very soft vanilla scent, um, not super strong. I feel like it has a little bit of a spicy note, maybe cinnamony, but you can't really smell the cinnamon. It's more of a spicy, tangy note um, on with the vanilla, and I really, really love this fragrance. It doesn't last super long, but it's really, really nice when you can't smell it, so I would repurchase. And then I used up my Sunset Guava Colada. I really did enjoy this one. Um, it took me a while because I kept forgetting to use it. I don't know why. It's a very juicy, fruity um, mist. Um, you can definitely smell the aquatic, like, water juiciness from, like, the fruits. And I really, really enjoyed this. I would repurchase again if I ever found it, but I doubt I will find it again. <laughs> then going on to something I did not use up, and that is the Island White Sand um, from Bath & Body Works. The notes... I haven't been telling you notes, it's fine. Um, yeah, anyways, the notes are sparkling tangelo, sheer sands, white orchid, island driftwood, and coconut water. Um, I did not do so well on this one. I don't know why. I don't know if it's just because it's um an interesting scent. It's not my most favorite. I don't like I don't like the sheer sands note in it. Um it's just kind of a weird scent. Yeah, I'm not sure about it. Um I like the scent, but it's not my all-time favorite, so I will be retiring this out of the 
I will be retiring this out of the project um, just because I can always use it later and um, body mists don't really go bad that fast, so yeah. And another thing I did use up was the Bath & Body Aromatherapy Zen Garden Moisturizing Body Lotion. This has notes of pink, pepper, mimosa, and ylang, -ylang to inspire peace and reflection. I really, really enjoy this and uh, I would repurchase again. It's not a scent that everybody would like by any means. It's not like a gourmand or a soft, relaxing scent. It's a very strong, earthy, planty, like peppery scent. Um, most people probably don't like this. I know a lot of people on YouTube when this first came out said they didn't like it, which is understandable. Although personally, I like those earthy, like peppery scents, so I personally like it, but it is a very strong lotion, but I would, re would repurchase again if I found it at some annual sales since these are retired or discontinued now. And then I used up my strawberry shower gel. This is not my favorite. Um, when I just smell it from the bottle, it smells kind of like a fruity cardboard. But when I put it on the shower and like the heat and my the heat and the hot water mixed with it, it smelled like a fruit roll up. I still I could still like sense a hint of that cardboardy element. I don't know if that's just because mine was a little older. I don't know why, but I really did enjoy this and I would repurchase again, especially in like the mist or the body cream, because I feel like they're not gonna have that like cardboard undernote. And the last thing in my project is something I didn't use up, so I did. I only did not use up two products. I used up the total of nine, and um, yeah, I used nine out of eleven, and this is number eleven that I did not miss up or did not use up. And this is the Relaxer Bath Butter Hawaiian Sandalwood Eucalyptus and Mandarin. This is a very pretty scent. I really do like it. I feel like pairing it with the Zen Garden. I kind of paired it just because it was green, but it really didn't do this any justice. I really should have paired this with something more fruity, more orangey, you know, with the mandarin, maybe the sandalwood or eucalyptus. When I smell this, I can smell more of the sandalwood and the mandarin, not much eucalyptus, because um, I'm thankful because I don't, um, eucalyptus is not one of my most favorite scents, but I'm really, really happy I picked this up. And I will be retiring the scent out of it because I don't really need to use it up because it is a shower gel, so it's not going to go bad anytime soon. But yeah, I really did enjoy this and I am over halfway done. Okay, so now we're going on to the stuff I'm adding. So I'm adding quite a few items and I'm really happy about it. So let's just go ahead and get started. So the first thing I'm adding is the Cress Shea Butter and Brown Sugar Bar Soap. This is a two-in-one exfoliating and nourishing for radiant skin. I'm really excited about this. I have the body wash um, and I'm not sure if I'll be using that in conjunction with this, but I do want to try and focus on using this. Um, again, the products that are not Bath & Body Works in these, I'm not necessarily trying to completely use up, but just trying to get some use because I am more focusing on my other stuff. But I will probably be trying out the, um, or not trying out, throwing in the thing to try out with this bar. And I'm really excited because I love Caress bars. They're very moisturizing and soft, and I really, really do enjoy them. And the bar itself has a creamy, slightly brownish color. It smells really nice. It doesn't smell as sweet as the body wash, but more of a shea butter and less brown sugar. But again, it smells really nice, and you can see those little exfoliating beads in it as well. The next bar I'm going to be trying out is the um, Caress Emerald Rush. This has Lush Gardenia and White Tea. I do like Gardenia scents, and I have Gardenia Mist that I can pair with this. But I'm really happy to use this, and I would have wished it was more of a green color than um, a blue because it doesn't really match the packaging, but... It has an interesting kind of like old lady smell um, at first, but if I really like smell it, it's actually not super scented. Yeah, it's more of God, my nose. Um, it's more of a um, slightly floral like scent. Um, I was more expecting like something different. I don't know why, but I will enjoy this. And yeah, I love Chris Bar soaps. And the last bar soap I will be using um, this month is the Coconut and Rose Milk Plant-Based Soap from Bolero, Beverly Hills. Um, this is a ginormous bar soap. This will probably take me forever to use up, but if I don't use it up, you know, that's okay. Um, but it does seem like a um, more hard bar, so probably even harder to use up because not a super soft bar. But this has a very pleasing scent. It has a slightly powdery rose scent, but it is overpowered by that... Um, by a nice coconut milk scent. It's a very soft bar, not super scented. I'm assuming this has like, okay, this is sodium palmate, water, glycerin, sodium. okay, so it's basically um, 
palm oils to make this, which I'm not too against, but like, I wish it had been made from shea butter because then it would be moisturizing because it kind of looks like the Olay bar, but for a dollar um, to get a 6.25 ounce bar soap, I'm not mad. And it smells nice. So I'll be super excited to use this. So onto small things I'll be trying to use. I will use my um, Olay Rinse Off Body Conditioner. This is just the Shea Butter scent. This is a mini little baby one. Um, this is just a nice Shea Butter scent. Again, I think it'll go really good with the um, Caress Bar in the body wash. They'll probably end up using with that. But yeah, I really, really enjoy this. I really, really enjoy this and I used... The big, I have the big size too. I've used that once before and it was very moisturizing. I didn't even have to use lotion, although I still use lotion, you know. But yeah, I'll enjoy using this with some other products I have to mention. Another little travel size I will focus on trying out is the LA Fresh Outlast White Strawberry and Mint. Um, yeah, I'm super excited to use this. It smells really good. Um, I know the LA body washes are very moisturizing. But this one is like a very sweet yet slightly tart minty strawberry i'm really excited to use this um i have a mist i'm gonna pair with it and you know i think this will be a really nice body wash and i can't wait to try out this one and yeah so this is super exciting and a small little dove product this is the dove um, rich nourishment cream this just has a very fresh scent and i have a body wash that'll go perfectly with this but yeah it's a very fresh, kind of almost like powdery scent. It's a very um, uh, gentle smelling, I guess. Not super scented, but yeah, I'm going to try this and probably use this more on my feet because I have very dry feet, so that's super moisturizing. But yeah, I'll try and put this in a few times just to test it out and see how long the moisture lasts because I've tested it out a little bit, but not too much, so I'm going to enjoy continuing to use this. Now for a lotion, um, I have a, the Kiwi Botanicals, bleh, the Kiwi Botanicals Hydrating Body Lotion with Giant Sea Kelp. I got this for $2.80 on clearance and I was at Walmart the other day and I saw the Manuka, Manuka Honey one on sale and I was about to get it but it was $5 and I was like, nah, that's not a good enough clearance. Uh, anyways, this smells very early, very um, eucalyptus kind of kelpy, sagey. I guess you could call it, but yeah, I'm super excited to use this. Um, this is really nice. When you pump it out, it's not a super like thick um, lotion. As you can see, it's more of like a Beth Marks Aromatherapy lotion, but when you like rub it in, it just kind of gets like thicker and actually gets a little hard to rub in, but it's so moisturizing and it makes your skin feel so, so soft. So I'm super excited to continue using this. And the lash, and the last lotion-y thing I'm trying to use up this month is the Sunrise Yoga Moisturizing Body Cream. I'm just trying to use this up because this is one of the older body creams in my collection. Um, yeah, so it's not that old, like probably, I don't know, four or five months. Anyways, um, I'm not too in a hurry to finish this up. It's not my favorite scent, but it is very nice. It's very um, citrusy, and I think it'll go really nice with this uh ivory body wash when we try to use up but or try and use yeah, it's a very citrusy nice but not super strong super strong scent uh it is made with mandarin oil spearmint oil and juniper berry oil so i'm super excited to use this i love the body creams they're very moisturizing they make my skin feel super soft and smooth and yeah i'm really happy to use this Okay, now on to full-size body washes. I have two. The first one I'm trying to use up is the Hibiscus Guava Fresca. And the notes are this are Acapulco Hibiscus, Fresh Guava, Grapefruit Aga Fresca, Beach Iris, and Sea Salt Driftwood. So I'm super excited to use this. And I can't wait because this actually paired with another scent I'm going to show you is a very, very, very strong combo. And you know, if it's summer, and you know, I'll be getting a little sweaty, you know, because it's super hot. Um, I don't like the heat. And take a shower, I put this on, it'll be really strong. And it smells very fresh and drink-like, so that'll do really well in the heat. But yeah, I really, really enjoy this scent, and 
I mean, the color of the packaging is just so pretty. And the other body wash I'm going to work on, I'm not going to use this up by any means because I'm going to try to filter in other body washes because I want to have some other, you know, things I can use for an other product to use up so they're not completely full. And this is the Ivory Moisturizing Body Wash in Hint of Cotton. This does not smell cottony whatsoever. It smells more like green apple-like. Yeah, it smells more like a hair product, kind of green apple-y, slightly soft kind of cotton scent, but more of a green apple scent. So this will go really well with um this, where it's kind of a bright green apple scent and a bright like orange scent, so you know, green apple and orange, you know, you never know. But I think that'll go really well together. Um, or with the um, the uh, hibiscus guava fresco will go well with the sunrise yoga. And the last two things I have to use up are um, mists, and the first one is my pretty as a peach this is a very strong um, scent it's kind of fake smelling but it's super strong and it's slightly florally peachy so i'm really gonna enjoy using this maybe with like something like these together or with my this and yeah i'm super excited to use it um i've had this for a while as you can see i've used quite a bit i love this scent um i actually took it from my mom when I was younger <laughs> because she had two and I didn't have any so I snatched one up and you know <laughs> apparently I got to keep it so <laughs> um yeah so that's great I love this scent and um I'm happy to use it up and the last scent is probably one of the strongest scents I've ever had for mathematics other way other than like in the stars into the night and um you're the one and that is Ice Pear Margarita. This is a heavy header. And this is the, the same like big collection as Hibiscus Guava Fresca. So I'm really happy to use this. I used this once with this and my brother said it was like super strong, which I love strong scents. And you know, well, he'll have to deal with it because I like this combo. Um, this is a very drinks like scent. You can definitely smell it like margarita, limey, sea salt scent. But it's a very like strong, has a little of that freshness but it has more of a lime sweetness it's super nice and i really like to enjoy using it so yeah thank you guys so much for watching i will see you on tuesday um hopefully with another exciting video and yeah bye